Please. Oh. What's up fellow Mustang, or should I say potential Mustang? Chances are if you're watching this video, you have a few questions and maybe you're keen to learn a little bit more about what hockey is like down here in Australia. Hey Terry, can you get a container? I got a big bird eater mate. Well, lucky for you, you've come to the right place. My name's Jordan Owens and actually, hold on, something's not right here, I have an idea. All right, that's better. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, my name's Jordan Owens, player for the Melbourne Mustangs, and I'm here to fill you in on the hockey world's best kept secret, the AIHL, but more specifically, the Melbourne Mustangs. So get comfortable, I'm gonna take you through town and show you what a day in life as a Mustang could look like for you. So let's go. Mustangs take the early lead. Okay, so if there's any place in the world worth playing, Melbourne is it. It was actually rated as the world's most livable city for seven straight years. Melbourne has been voted the world's most livable city. Is the best city in the world. The world's most livable city. What do you like about Melbourne? Everything. It's not really hard to see why though. The city itself is a melting pot of cultural diversity and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. It's also a hub for all things sport. Australian Open, Melbourne Grand Prix, President's Cup, Aussie Rules Football, the list really goes on. And speaking of Aussie Rules Football, it's kind of like rugby, but totally made into the Australian version. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is a blend of rugby and mugging someone. Gosh, did you see that? Make sure you pick wisely who you're going to root for, because the rivalries, they are intense. We actually had to make a rule in our locker room that we weren't allowed to check the scores of those games between periods of our own games. And yeah, uh, you think I'm joking, but that actually is a rule. Incident of one, a famous one. There really is no shortage of things to do or see here in Melbourne. If you're into bars, restaurants, cafes, nightclubs, street art, this is your city. Or maybe you like to keep it simple like me and find that perfect cup of coffee, perfect bench, and people watching. Did I mention Melbourne is famous for the coffee? You've got the cafe culture, you've got the cultural capital being Melbourne, and of course sport is uh, part of the DNA of this city. If rolling the dice is your type of thing, you can maybe try your luck at the Crown Casino, which is located right behind me. Say, you played this game before. Just once. Or, if not, you could check out one of the many events that are happening at the convention center every week. Whatever you're into, I'm sure you can find something. Okay, so you're sold on Melbourne as a city, but what does living down here actually look like? And what I mean by that is, where are you going to lay your head at night when you go to sleep? This area is where I think the Melbourne Mustangs really separate themselves from others and really stand out as an organization. You'll be housed in a brand new apartment hotel located right downtown. I mean, location is key when it comes to this place. As a matter of fact, why don't we hop on a tram and head over there right now, see if we can get a better look. So you will actually be provided a car when you come down here, but to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't really driven that often. The public transit here in Melbourne is so great that you really don't need to drive and I'd much rather take the tram when I can to avoid parking at, at all costs. G'day, Stacey Andronicus from here, Quest New Key, the home of the Melbourne Mustangs imports. Let me show you through. Here we are at Quest New Key, a 221 room apartment right here within a stone's throw of the ice rink arena. Uh, we're accommodating a number of the imports here at Quest New Key. This is very typical of what you'll experience here in Melbourne. A two bedroom apartment, two bathrooms, we're 24 hour reception. It really is bringing a new standard of apartment hotels in Melbourne. So a typical week for the team would consist of two practices uh, on the weekday nights and games are generally played on the weekends, either one or two games a week, um, usually both at home or both on the road. And the building right behind me is where it all goes down. It's the O'Brien's Ice House and the rink is actually awesome. And that might come as a surprise to you when you think about Australian hockey rinks, but the city of Melbourne recently invested $30 million into renovating this arena and making it the official home of the Australian Winter Olympic programs. One of the nicest things that I've enjoyed about playing down here is that we fly to all road games. So don't expect to be spending countless hours squished on a bus. There's just too much to do and see down here to be dealing with any of that. When we can step in the ring, doesn't matter if it's practice or game, we can go to work. Let's go to Maddie with the hat. Having the bold spot. Yeah. 
Speaking of travel, there's some incredible sites that are within driving distance of Melbourne. And during one of our longer breaks, you could venture a little further if you're the adventurous type. My family and I decided to head north up to the Great Barrier Reef on one of our breaks. And I have to say, there's honestly no cooler experience than swimming with sea turtles and tropical fish in their natural habitat. Truly epic. Okay, so you've seen Melbourne as a city, you've seen the rank, you've seen what it's like when we go on the road. And there's only one more thing. As an import, you'll be relied on heavily here. Your contributions on and off ice, as well as your leadership, will and can be the difference between winning or losing. We're looking for hardworking players, players with good attitudes, and guys who get going when the going gets tough. So, what do you say? Are you up for the challenge? 